Maintaining the right oil pressure is essential for optimal car performance and low pressure can lead to engine damage. In this video we'll cover the symptoms and causes of low oil pressure. Symptoms and causes of low oil pressure. Oil warning light. If the oil warning light comes on due to low oil pressure, find a safe place to stop and check the oil level. It is recommended to have the car towed to a repair facility even if the oil level is normal, as it could indicate a more serious issue than a faulty oil pressure sensor. Engine overheating. Insufficient oil pressure can lead to increased friction and heat in the engine, causing overheating. Engine noise. If you hear strange noises from your engine, it could mean low oil pressure, causing internal components to deteriorate. This can result in rapid clicking, ticking, or clacking of the valves. If left untreated, other parts like the crankshaft and piston rods may start to knock. If you notice any of these sounds, stop driving immediately. Depending on the damage, it may still be possible to save the engine. Burning oil smell. Low oil level can cause a drop in oil pressure as there is less oil available for the oil pump to circulate through the engine, resulting in lower pressure. This can be caused by an external engine leak, which may produce a burning oil smell if it drips onto a hot surface like the exhaust system. The decline in engine performance. If you notice a sudden loss of power, stalling, or increased fuel consumption, your engine performance may be declining. Low engine oil pressure is a common cause, but it could also indicate other mechanical issues. Causes of low oil pressure. Not much oil in the engine. Excessive oil consumption can occur due to evaporation, burning from worn piston rings, and leakage through seals or oil plugs, even if the right amount of lubricant was injected during an oil change. Wrong oil viscosity. Loss of pressure in oil feed to the engine may be due to low or high oil viscosity. Low viscosity causes less flow resistance, leading to lower pressure, while high viscosity causes more resistance, resulting in reduced lubrication and pressure. Debris in the pickup pipe. Dirt, debris, or sludge buildup in the pickup line from the oil pan to the oil pump can cause low pressure by blocking oil flow. Faulty oil pump. Insufficient oil levels, incorrect installation, contaminated oil, inadequate oil maintenance, or excessive engine driving can cause oil pump failure. Over time, oil pumps may also degrade. It is important to replace the oil pump if any issues are detected. Engine wear. Engine parts wear due to friction and heat. The holes through which the camshaft and crankshaft bearings insert may widen with time and use, allowing the oil to flow more freely and reducing its pressure. Oil filter problem. Oil pressure can also be reduced by an obstruction or clog in the oil filter. Pressure relief valves are a part of oil filters. Oil will easily pass through the damaged valve, lowering pressure. It might go without saying, but it's crucial to replace the oil filter every time you change the oil. Faulty oil pressure gauge. You can use a gauge to check the oil pressure. If the pressure is normal, replace the oil pressure sensor. However, if the warning light or low gauge reading continues after changing the sensor, the issue is likely with the oil pump. Results of low oil pressure. A decrease in oil pressure prevents oil from reaching all engine parts, leading to immediate deterioration as components come into contact. Engine performance deterioration, such as loss of power, decreased fuel efficiency, and stalling, is a sign of low oil pressure. How to reduce the risk of low oil pressure? Change the oil and filter at recommended intervals to reduce the risk of low oil pressure in the engine. Use high-quality lubricants that meet American Petroleum Institute API, standards and have the correct viscosity grade as outlined in the engine car handbook. Regularly check the oil level for leaks in the engine and garage floor. Watch for blue smoke from the exhaust, especially in high-mileage engines. If the pressure sensor is on and the issue is unclear, do not drive. The best proactive approach for fleets is to use oil analysis to assess machinery and oil. That's all for this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.